Okay guys, I am back. It has been roughly seven hours since I did the last layer and although it's a tiny bit tacky, it is good to go for the next layer. So the next layer is going to be a lot more clear with less colors. So I'm going to do another round of the colors but more clear on this one. So let me get everything set up and then I will come back and do that. One thing I'm not happy with is the glitter. So I'm going to go over that glitter with some of the red alcohol ink mixed in with the resin. And I think it's gonna give it a really spectacular looking shimmery spots in the butterfly wing. So let me mix everything up and I will be right back. Okay, I'm gonna show this part of the video for one of my subscribers that asked me how much to use of what. So for these cups, I have them a quarter full of resin. If I'm going to use a Bombay ink, I will put in this is a small dropper, not as, as long as, say, the Liquitex. They have much longer droppers, okay? So for that Bombay ink style dropper, I will put in one dropper full, okay? Sadly, my bottle is at the end here, so it's hard to get it in there, so I had to do it twice, but it's one dropper full for a quarter full of the two ounce Dixie cups. So that's a Bombay ink. Next for alcohol ink. Let me figure out which one I need here. Okay, so for alcohol ink, for a quarter full, again, I would put the, this in there. I would squeeze once, squeeze twice. Done. So those are the differences between those two. If you're using spray paint, Spray the spray paint into a paper cup first after you shake it well. There's no resin in this cup. So spray it straight into the cup and then drizzle into a quarter cup again a teaspoon worth. Just eyeball it. And I think that's it. I'm not using any mica powders, but if I were, I would add in, this is popsicle stick. I would stick it in there and pick up as much as would fit right there, about an eighth of an inch on the tip of the stick. Okay, so I'm ready to go. And the first thing I'm gonna do is put my red over these patches of glitter because like I had said, I'm not very happy with them at all. So I'm just going to drizzle it over those areas. I think in the end, it's gonna give it a beautiful sparkle effect. And then maybe later on, I'll readdress putting that color back in. It's just, right now they don't fit, I feel.
I have to say, I was so happy I thought about this. I know I already mentioned it in the, the first video, but I don't know why it popped in my head, but it did. And I am just so excited to think of the different shapes I can make now. Of course, you know, the first place that I learned freeform geodes from was Petra's channel which I'm going to link below. If you have never watched any of her videos, you should watch her videos. She's just made a beautiful table. Uh, she has a lot of the free form geodes on there. You know, she gives good instructions. And if you haven't seen her, you should check her out. Uh, once in a while, we'll mention each other's channel to help each other out because that's what artists should do. If you ask me and, um, yeah, so what I will do is put her channel link in the description box below and I will also link a couple of videos that she has done specifically to freeform geodes. And if you don't know what a freeform geode is, a freeform geode is when you make a geode just out of pure resin using the silicone as a barrier. There's geodes you can make on a substrate, like a piece of wood, like this one, for example. Okay. And then there's the freeform type where they look like this and it's 100% resin. So I will link her information below. If you haven't checked her out, you really should. She's got some great videos. All right, so now what I want to do is take my clear and start drizzling it all over the place. And there's a chance that that, that white glitter may poke through, but I guess I'll deal with it as I work. The reason that I'm putting down the clear is because I want the background to show through also. I don't want to cover it all up with more colors. So by putting this on there and then blending the other colors throughout the clear, you will get some of that background that pops out. And if there's an area you really like, like I really like this, the body where it comes out into the wing. You could just put more clearer there and less color if you want. Okay, that's done. All right, so now I'm just going to go again with my colors. This is my homemade alcohol ink. And this is the Teal Bombay ink. And I want to be careful with this one because it is a little more opaque than the others.
So I don't want to drown it with this color. Right, next will be the color stream, which is an alcohol ink. And oh, by the way, I realize I covered up the circles I made earlier. That's all right. I'm going to do them again on the last layer. I wasn't thinking earlier when I had done that, that it really needs to be done on the last layer. So you can see them. Okay, then I have... A little more of the purple, which was the Velvet Violet by FW. This I'm going to put in areas that it was earlier, or try to anyway. Okay, then I have the red, or I should say watermelon, excuse me. And before I use all of this up, I'm going to stop because I do have gold and I want to put it back over the gold again. So let me put down this was red violet bombay ink is the next color you'll see and 
with this so I'm kind of going over where the purple was I'm pretty sure after this layer I'll be able to do the stones and a coat of uh, clear I'm hoping so anyway Okay. Last up gold and then the red on top of the gold. adds just such a rich look to it when you do that. Let's try the red first this time. And then the gold on top of that. This gold is heavier so it'll sink. So let's leave that one alone and see what happens. I see it's sinking over here a little bit, but I still like it better with the red on top. And then a little bit of red. Don't have enough to cover all of it, but that's okay.
Alrighty. All the resin has been used up. So let's heat her up and move her around. A little bit of the blow dryer. Right, guys that is it <laughs> I wish you were in my room right now to see what this thing really looks like I really do wish that I'm just swirling the body a little bit because it's hard to get in there with anything that's so small the body is supposed to represent only half of the body. That's why I did it so narrow like that. Wow. Really, really, really wish you guys could see this. The amount of depth that is going to be in this piece is going to be off the chain. And once I add those crystals, forget about it. 
I can't figure out how to show you guys this without the glare. I'm sorry. Can you see the sparkle in that homemade blue? And look at the glitter, how much better it looks now. Cannot wait to show you this outside. I was trying to avoid cells because I don't feel like they really belong in here, but a few here or there like those right there or the gold that's okay let me get a flashlight I just want to show you that homemade ink with the um, uh, blue diamond by Lorez Let's see if I can find it here So hard to film this stuff. There's some of it right there where the light's on top. So let me put it this way. Where the light is on top right now that darker blue right next to the lighter blue there is like two layers down the green is like three layers down so you can just imagine the amount of depth that this is going to have this was so much fun i'm already planning my next one <laughs> and this one isn't even done so that's it for this part guys um if you have any questions or comments leave them below I will have all the products linked. I will also have Petra's information below if you want to check her out if you haven't before. If you like my video and would like to subscribe, please do so and make sure you click the bell so that you get notified of when the next part of this butterfly will be or any other upcoming projects. If you like my videos, please give them a thumbs up. Every little bit helps. And as always, have a great day, night, afternoon, wherever you are in the world, and happy pouring. Hey guys, welcome back. So we're getting close to the end of this beautiful creation. And it is time to start adding some glitter, some crushed glass, some whatever I want to put on there. So the first thing I have are just some pieces of crushed glass and they come from Hobby Lobby. They're over where the floral items are sold. And they're basically just for, they fill vases with them. So I'm going to start putting those strategically around these four lines here. And these little pieces of glass already have some glitter on them. I'm going to show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but they have little pieces. You see those things that look like little black specks? It's actually glitter. So, they have a little bling to them already, but I'm going to be adding a lot more. Now, I'm thinking I'm going to put some down of this color just to see what they're going to look like. Because I have another color that I also like and I can't make up my mind. The other color I like are these that I dyed using the alcohol ink technique. If you haven't seen that, it is on my YouTube channel. It shows you how to turn these clear 
little crystals into different colors. So I have these pretty ones that I had mixed the gold and a little bit of a sunset orange. And I'm not sure which one I want to use. I'm thinking I'm going to go with the white only because I have, don't forget, these little crystals that I want to put on the tip of each section. And those are holographic, but they do have a little gold in them, so they might also work. So now I have a dilemma on my hands because I want to use both. I'm going to apologize right now for my neighbor. He's uh, weed whacking, of course. Right when I turn on the camera, he starts weed whacking, as always. I'm just trying to see. I'm not going to surround those little crystals with rocks, but I'm just trying to see if they blend in, which they kind of do. So maybe I am going to go with gold. Oh, it's such a hard decision. It may also be nice to use these with some nice white holographic glitters just to give it a little pop here and there. So. Now, I think I'm going to go with the gold. I think it has to be the gold. Okay. So, I'm going to take these clear off of here. I wish I could use both. I mean, technically, I could use whatever I want, but I want it to have the best outcome. I'm just looking at them in my hand. You know what? I'm going to go with the clear. I'm sorry. Only because I want some areas to stand out. That is the final decision. Listen, I'm a woman. We can never make up our mind. <laughs> I'm already thinking up in my head what I can make after this. I, um, thinking maybe a dragonfly will be next. That'll be pretty. I know someone special that would get that one if I were to make it. She has been a huge, huge supporter of mine, has donated to my channel. Awesome, awesome woman. Uh, Laura Usher. I'm sure you guys know of her. She sells the Lorez pigments and I have the link below from day one she has been such an ego booster for me and has given me the confidence to do this and then along came all of you and all together you are just truly amazing but Laura loves dragonflies so if I do a dragonfly it will definitely be for her so what I'm going to do is Place these around these little lines. I'm not going to make you watch the whole thing. And I'm not going to place them right here on the end. Because that's where I want my little crystals to go. Okay. And I'm going to place these down. And then when I come back, we're going to do some resin, some clear resin and then maybe some glitter and some special circles with the alcohol ink technique okay so let me get this all situated and i will be right back hey guys i'm back all right so it's the next step what i have done is i've put down my crystal stones where i wanted them my 
little Chris Swarovski crystals on the ends where I wanted them. And I'm thinking about these little beads are, are pretty cute. They're little plastic beads just for some added interest. So I figured I'd put one on the end of each one of these sections. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cute. So my plan is to put a bunch of clear on top and take it from there. I need to add some glitter at some point. Um, I will probably sprinkle the glitter on after it starts to firm up right in these sections here. And um, I'm thinking about putting some of my alcohol ink circles towards the back of the wing over here. Thinking about it. And if you haven't seen me do those before, I did them in a geode. It's where I put down a circle of resin that is colored with alcohol ink. Then I will put down inside of that circle a drip of clear. And then I will add straight gold or silver mixative from the bottle into that clear circle and then re-pour some more resin colored or I'm sorry alcohol ink colored resin into that so it's like a layer process and it does some cool cracking effects I do it either that way or I use the ink straight out of the bottle so I'll figure it out as I go but for now I need to pour down my clear so I'm going to do that I'm going to be very careful over by these stones. I don't want to pour it on top of them. I want to pour it on the side of them so that it will seep underneath them. Now it's inevitable that some will get covered. The main ones I'm focusing on are those Swarovski crystals because those will lose their shine if they go underneath resin. But the rest of them, the, the glass ones anyhow, are fine if they get a little bit on them. Um, just notice the little piece there. The purple ones also I don't want to cover or try to avoid covering them. So I'm just going to go in between the sections nice and slowly. The second I turn on my, my camera, my neighbor starts with the lawnmower and the wee whacker. Hold on, I have to shut my fan off. The resin's in a tornado here, blowing to the side. <laughs> okay. I swear, he knows that I'm doing this. We don't get along either. He's a real jerk face. But anyhow. Just kind of filling in here. So I've ha I have these plans to like do things, but in the end, when it comes to making something like this, your mind changes so many times. 
So it's almost better to just go with the flow and see where it takes you. Don't have a plan, have, you know, like your colors, uh, somewhat of a theme, but as far as saying, okay, I know I want to do this, 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 and it's done. No, it doesn't work like that. So I'm just helping the resin along here. Okay, I'm just going to add a little bit more over here. All right, so I'm going to torch these bubbles and then I'm going to come back after my colors are mixed up and see what my next step is going to be. Just torch those really quick. can't remember if I did the body or not. I keep forgetting that the body is there. I'm distracted by the wing. It's so pretty. And I keep forgetting about that little half of the body. Adding just this, this layer here has added so much more dimension to this piece it is amazing all right so I'll let that sit for a minute I'm gonna put you guys on pause while I mix up a few colors and I will be right back okay so here we go you take alcohol ink mixed in resin pour a circle which is just pour it in the let it keep dripping into the center okay whatever size you want that's the size you drip then take some clear same thing right into the center just a little bit Then, the next step is gold. I just have to shake it. Hold on a second. Okay, so then you have your clear in there, and then you want to carefully put in one drip, two drips. And then pour a little more of this in. And what it's going to do, it's going to crack open that gold. And you will see it start to happen shortly. If it doesn't, you could also take the straight up alcohol ink. Let's give it a second and see. and splash it in the center. What you're doing is layering and layering and layering to get some depth and interest in the piece. So some butterflies, you see that all 
like doing crazy things there. Some butterflies have, you know, spots on them or whatever. And it's just a cool little thing you could do. Just to add some interest. And you, like I said, you want to do them different sizes and not everywhere. Okay. It is way too dark in here. I'm going to have to start filming back over at my sister's. Once the kids go back to school, then I can go back over there. It'll be quiet enough for me to do it. So now I'm going to do red, which was the watermelon red. I'm sorry, raw ruby from Ice Resin Tint. I'm going to do the same procedure, not so big. I'm going to try right here. Let's see. It's just like areas that I may not be fond of. And then this time I'm only doing one drip of the gold. So let me put a little bit of clear. A little more of the red. See if it breaks open. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. This one over here I'm not happy with at all. So I may have to figure out something to do with that. Maybe just swirl it through the piece. Just not happy with it. And then what I'm going to do is use the blow dryer to kind of really spread it out there. You could try to somehow scoop it off of there. I suppose. Let's see. If it's the top. No, not really. But me doing this here is putting it down underneath so it looks like it belongs now. And you know the these uh circles are not working like the last time and I think I know why. The last time I did it on cured resin this this is uh not cured. So I'm wondering if that's what it is. Just going to kind of scoop it around and mush it out. Now I'm going to grab my blow dryer and get rid of it because I'm not liking it at all. guys I think I'm gonna leave that alone it blended right back in as if 
it was never there. So I think I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to add some more clear that I have here. Just kind of over the top of those two areas. Just to use it up. Okay. I'm just going to use my heat gun to pop the bubbles. I'm just pushing those two areas back. Yeah, it's just insane the amount of depth that this creates. It really, really is. You have layer upon layer upon layer, and it's like never ending. So the next thing I'm going to do is add a little bling. And spice up those rocks a little bit have a few uh, hairs to get out here that I don't want to forget about. These things are your best friend, especially if you own a cat. I will warn you of that right now. All right, so glitter. I want something fun. I want something that's really going to shine and sparkle. So first thing I'm going to start off with is my diamond dust. Flora Craft makes it. It is basically shredded glass. And you get quite... A sparkle from it and I have it linked in the videos really pretty stuff and I'm going to lightly pinch it over the rock area um, be careful when you're doing this because it is glass and it will pierce your fingers so when I say lightly sprinkle I mean Really just let a little fall out of your fingertips at a time. With regular glitter, we can be more uh, vigorous with our rubbing our fingers together. But with this stuff, you will get caught. Wearing gloves would probably be a good thing, even though it's very hard for me to do glitter with gloves on. I don't know why, but it is. Okay. 
And then next I have some of that unicorn, what was it? Iridescent unicorn. I'm going to use that also. These do have little shakers on them, but it's very hard to control them, especially when you want to do a thin, thin area like I'm trying to do. So there are two ways you could do it. You could do it with your fingers, or you could also use the tip of a popsicle stick very carefully, lightly tapping. These are so narrow, I'm just going to go down the center of that line that I made with the silicone and let it fall where it wants. Okay. Then I'm going to find another one. I'm thinking maybe a silver holographic I have some uh, regular silver here This is from Torg and all, this silver. And even though there's no silver in the piece, I think it'll look pretty. Now, once this is all cured, I have to figure out what I want to do next. I may do another layer, I may leave it alone. I'll have to figure it out once it's dry. I know I'm not going to do any type of drawing or anything like that on there. I think it's beautiful enough the way it is. Just checking this area over here to make sure but I got it all in there. Couldn't even remember if I put it in there. <laughs> all right, so I think that's it for this video. Let me bring you guys in. Okay. Trying to figure out a way to show you the colors that bright orange is not bright orange it's the red it's going to be very sparkly once it's done there's a good area to show you uh, uh, regarding the depth. Yeah, these colors are way off on camera. That rust color in person is a burgundy. I really need to get a camera. A professional one to do this with. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Um, I will link everything you need to know below. 
If you haven't already, would you please subscribe? And if this is the first video you're seeing, please go back and part, watch part one and two. Um, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Have a great night and happy pouring.